Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hi, Miss Rachel. I'll wait a couple more minutes to see if anyone else jumps on. Good morning, good morning. I think we're gonna start getting started today. So just like Miss Melissa was saying earlier, Miss Andrew and Miss Tracy yesterday, tomorrow is Earth Day. So today we're gonna read a book on 10 things I can do to help my world. So start thinking of some things that you can do at your house to help the world and to help the earth. I remember to turn off the lights when I leave the room. So make sure you turn off those lights. Turning off the lights and help using more efficient light bulbs saves valuable energy. Hi, Timmy. I try. What does that look like? Does that look like a sink? Hmm, I wonder what we're going to try to do with this sink. To turn off the tap when I'm brushing my teeth. Every time you do this, you save 18 glasses of water. So when you're brushing your teeth every morning and at night before you go to bed, make sure you turn off the water while you're brushing. I always, oh, look, here's a trash can. Throw my trash away. Should we always throw our trash away, not on the ground? You're right. Put gar putting garbage away keeps the world safe and clean. I will. Feed the birds in the winter. Feeding the birds helps them get ready for nesting in the spring. Good morning, Kira. I use, hmm, what could we use? Both sides of the paper. If everyone did this, we will greatly reduce the number of trees that is used to make paper. So use both sides of your paper when you make us pictures. Remind my parents to unplug the TV when we are not watching it. Many electronic appliances use energy even when they are turned off. Look at that big TV. I enjoy. Hmm, what do you think they're doing with all these boxes? Making toys from things around the house. Isn't that what you guys were doing with Miss Melissa this morning? You guys were making some wind chimes. You can make a robot. We can reuse a lot of things before we throw them away. Can you guys make a robot out of some boxes or things around your house? If you do, post some pictures so I can see them. I like, what does all this look like? Maybe some clouds. Oh, I see a car over here. So let's see to walk to school. Avoiding car trips saves gas and cuts down on air pollution. Walking is also good exercise. So if you can walk to school, maybe you should walk to school when it gets nicer outside. Let's see. I can. What do all these look like? Oh, I see something with a tear over here. Let's see what it is. 
plant seeds and help them grow. Plants keep the air clean and healthy. Have you guys planted any seeds or any flowers since you've been at home with your families? Good morning, Miss Linda. I help. Hmm, what do all of these bins look like? Let's find out. Sort the recycling. So we have cans and glass and compost, what Miss Andrea did yesterday, plastic and paper. The more than half of our garbage can be recycled, it takes less energy to recycle something than replace it with something new. All because I love my world. So these were 10 things that we can do to help our world and to help our earth. Like Miss uh, Andrea talked about yesterday, doing a compost, so putting all your extra scraps of food in there to help make plants. And the plants love to eat compost by recycling, by turning off the water, by unplugging our TVs, right? So I thought we'd play a little bit of a sorting game today and you guys can help me figure out where if it should go in the recycling bin or the trash bin. Alrighty, it's a little windy so I'm going to put my stuff back in my box when we're done so it doesn't blow away. But does anyone know what this is? It's a water bottle. Does anyone know where we should put this? Should we put this in the trash can or should we put this in the recycling? I'll give you a second to think. We should put bottles, whether they're plastic or glass, into the recycling so they can remake new things. Maybe they'll make toys with them or more water bottles. Alrighty, so this one would go in the recycling. So let's sort that into our recycling pile. How about, let's see. I have a tissue. Now this is a clean tissue because we don't want to touch dirty tissues. But if I have a tissue, where should I put my tissue? Should it go in the recycling or the trash? Morning, Gabby. Mm. Let's think about it. Where should we put our tissues? We should stick our tissues in the trash. I actually think you might be able to stick tissues into a compost bin because they will break down, but I'm not sure about that. But into the trash can. Let's see what else we have. I have a box that had some Ziploc bags in it. Which, where should we put this one? Where should we sort this one? Into the trash pile or the recycling pile? Good morning, Haley. Where should we put this one? Hmm. We should stick this one into the recycling bin. And I have a picture of a recycling bin. Actually, I forgot to show you. So normally our recycling bins are blue. Either they're small or they can be tall or wide. And they have this symbol right on the front. Do you see all those arrows? Let's see, I have a bigger picture of it. Do you see our arrows? So it's recycle, reduce, and reuse. So we can reduce and recycle our things. So that's what our recycling bins look like. You might have seen them in school. You might have them at home. So when we have a plastic, or a plastic, a cardboard box, we stick these inside our recycling bins. Or what else can we do with this? Can we make something out of this? Could you maybe make a robot? Maybe cut a face into it, put on some arms, and make a cool robot for you to play with. Let's see. I have a wrapper. Where should we put this wrapper? Should the wrapper go into the recycling? Good job, Gabby. Or the trash. So what about this wrapper now that we have a wrapper? Where should this one go? In the recycling or the trash? I'll give you a second to think. This was from my Easter candy that the Easter Bunny gave me the other day. Let's see. We should stick this one in the trash. We should stick our wrappers and things like that into the trash can because these ones cannot be recycled. Let's see what else I have. I have a container. This one has some cream cheese in it. But I have a container. Where should our container go? Where should we sort this container? Should it go into the trash or should it go into the recycling? Let's see.
This one should go into the recycling because they can break this plastic down and turn it into something else for us to play. Alrighty, and I think I have one more thing. Does anyone know what this is? This is an egg carton, but this one, I don't know if you can see it, let's see, is made out of styrofoam. Let's see if we can listen to it tear. You can see it, it's made out of styrofoam. So where should this one go? Does anyone know? Styrofoam. It's a good guess, Haley, but actually styrofoam, we have to throw in the trash. We can't recycle styrofoam. But if you have the cardboard milk cartons, like I normally do, I just happen to have this one with all my art stuff in here at my house, the, the cardboard ones can be recycled, but styrofoam has to go into the trash because it's not good for the environment if it gets blown around or if it gets broken down. So that was our little bit of our sorting lesson. I challenge you at your house to sort some of the trash that you might have if you are not already recycling. And you can also put in glass bottles and paper. And depending on where you live, sometimes, well, you could make a caterpillar with them. That's a good, a good thing to suggest. Um, and some towns, they have different bins for different items. So some towns have a glass bin that you put your glass recycling in, you put your paper recycling in. Where I live in Summers Point, we stick everything into one big blue bin. But if you have to sort, good morning, Miss Therese, your recycling, I want you to try to help your parents sort your recycling, whether it has to go into the glass bin, the paper bin, the plastic bin, anything like that. Alrighty, and make something with you what you have in your recycling bin. Like I said, you can make a robot out of a plastic or a, out of a box. You can make caterpillars or flowers out of your egg carton. So let's see what you guys can make and leave some pictures down below so we can see what you guys made. Have a great Earth Day tomorrow, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.